welcome back to my pink palace in my bedroom. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video because I was requested to do it and I thought, you know, why not? I've just tidied it, it's nice and clean. So here we go. So this is my bag. It's just a plain black bag. It isn't branded. I don't know where it's from because my mum actually gave it to me. Um, it's got like a little claspy there and then I've also got a rainbow dash keychain which Trevor sent me. If you would like to check out my good friend Trevor who lives in the United States of America, I will put his links down below. Right, so let's open the bag. First thing on the top, I have a 2015 diary. It's got some cute little foxes on it. It is from Clinton's and I use this obviously to write everything in what I am doing. <laughs> um, it's very nice and pretty actually. It's nice and colourful. I don't like those boring diaries that are all just like black and white. This is like coloured and it's got pictures in it. So yeah, that is my diary. The next thing, I have a little pack of pocket tissues and they are pink and they say keep calm and carry on. And obviously carrying tissues around in your bag is like a must. Thing is, I don't actually like these tissues. They are like really rough. They remind me of like a napkin. They're not soft at all. They're like really like, not nice at all. So I will have to get some new ones. I obviously also carry around my phone, which looks like that. It's just an LG. I've had it for years. It did decorate the case. I did put some nice little like bows and stuff on it, but my mum rang me the other day when I was in Superdrug and I kind of like whoosh, out the bag, it went on the floor and smashed and all the little pretty decorations come off, so that was pretty devastating. I also carry around my iPod touch, which is just like that. Nothing interesting. I'm not sure it's going to pick on camera, but it's got a nice big crack mark across it. I don't know if you can see. I've already actually paid out and had the screen repaired twice already, and I don't really want to do it again. So I'm just going to have to put up with that little crack. Because I've got some sugar-free polos. You've got to have fresh breath when you're on the go. <laughs> I always get the sugar-free ones because I think they actually taste better. So they're always good, like especially if you like at work. I work in retail and also talking to the customers a lot, your mouth's like getting dry all the time, so these come in handy. Next thing I've got is my actual purse. It is from River Island and it's all sequiny. And if you watched my What's In My Bag video about two years ago, I had the same purse then. I just love it. I, nah, it really, really does what I need it to do. I love it, I love the size of it, and if we open it up, ooh, it's got a lot of space in for a lot of stuff, as you can see. And in there, we have got, what have we got? We have got a Cafe Nero stampy card. So when I go in, I will get my 10th coffee for free. I have got my Tesco club card to get some points, some vouchers. I have got my Devon's beauty card. I have got, I'm not showing you that one actually, because that actually says where I work. I have got, what else have we got in here? We have got some old, old train tickets when I went up to London on the 12th of September. And then I think those are when I went to Farnham. Don't know why they're still in there. I also have <laughs> a load of these cute little wooden crosses. I've got a couple in there actually. Basically, that I've got, oh, I've got four. They're actually beads and they've got like the holes to like make jewellery and stuff with and I brought them and then I've obviously just left them in my purse and they have not moved ever since. Subway, we have a booklet of Subway vouchers because I love Subway and so I've got a lot of coupons, some deals for certain amazing food. Brand match, 75p off my next purchase in Sainsbury's. I also have a scratch card that I won a pound on and I also have a try out contact lenses thing from Specsavers along with a golden ticket from Specsavers where I will get 50% off my next purchase which is good and then we also have my gala bingo card because I love a bit of bingo and then we have my O2 top up card because I am not on contract and then what else do we have in here we have my HP ink cartridge thing so I know what ink I need to get for my printer and then oh I've got um nail card for when I get my nails done which hasn't been for a very long time and then <laughs> and I still carry this around in my purse 
basically when Twilight came out I was a huge fan and my sister got me this little card that says license to bite with Edward 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 Cullen's face on and fingerprint got a little bit of Twilight back onto the bag I also carry around my passport all the time and this case is absolutely hideously filthy dirty but at least it's protecting my passport so yeah I just got my passport don't I look good I basically carry this around for identification and well in case I decide I want to run away and leave the country I also always carry around this little miniature bottle of Ted Baker Polly perfume. I've actually just recently bought the bigger one to carry around in my bag. So this is always handy, as you can see, it's used quite a lot. This is always handy when you're out and about and you need a bit of a pick-me-up. That's just great. I have a key, um, that's something to do with work. I have um, a very, very old compact powder that, as you can see, there's not really much left but um, I do have a bit of powder in my bag in case of emergencies in case I have been breaking out in a sweat and my skin is looking really oily and it also has a mirror in which comes in handy oh, and then I also have this um, little miniature Yankee candle um, I'm not, I don't generally carry candles around with me but this is like the new scent, this is red raspberry and I bought two of these ones the other day to try out and uh, this one's still in my bag. Last but not least, in my little secret pocket area, I have some added in paracetamol painkillers. And I also have this, which is my medication for a illness that I have. So as you can see, I don't actually have anything interesting in my bag. I do quite enjoy watching what people carry around in their bags because I'm very curious. I'm a very newsy person, but I tend to think I don't really carry much interesting stuff in my bag but hey ho so this video was requested i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up there's a subscribe button you know you want to click it and of course leave me a comment as i love interacting with you beautiful people right i'm gonna go now have a good week good evening weekend whatever day of the week it is and i will see you next week bye Correcting my grammar, correcting my spellings, correcting my English. I'm like, no, 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 this is not school. This is YouTube. I might have done a few mistakes, but so what? I find that offensive.